This is our video on Unit 1 from Rev 1 on operations with real numbers. Our first problem here says for all real numbers a and b, 3a times 3b is equal to a to the third times b to the plus b to the third, excuse me. Is this true or false? And if it's false, give a counter example. Well, just know a counterexample is your example you provide that proves it false, okay? So that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to prove it false. And the way we're going to do it is we're going to, you know, pick some numbers to try. A few little tips that I could give you is, for instance, when we see exponents, you kind of want to try to stay away from the number 2. Because if you think about it, 2 times 2 is 4 but 2 to the second power is also 4 so that wouldn't really be a good number so let's just start off let's pick a equals you know let's do 3 and let's do b equals 1 how about that so I'm just going to substitute into this problem 3 times 3 times 3 times 1 equals, so a to the third, that would be 3 to the third, plus b to the third, that's 1 to the third power. Uh, we do our multiplication, 3 times 3 is 9, times another 3 times 1, that's 3. 3 to the 3rd, we know, is 3 times 3 times 3, so that's 27, plus 1 to the 3rd power. Well, 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. So if I do the left side, 9 times 3 is 27, equals 27 plus 1, that's 28. So right here, 27 we know is not the same thing as 28. So this proves it false. This is our counter example here. What happens if you had an example that was true? Well, that means you have to try again. You have to pick different numbers. So you might want to try some negative numbers if you happen to get a true example. So this for this example here, this was false. And this right here, all the work here... That is our counter example. Sometimes the product of two positive numbers less than either is less than either number. Describe the two numbers. Okay, so we're just trying to figure out two numbers. So let's just start off with some positive whole numbers. Let's do two times. Three, okay, 2 times 3, well, that equals 6. 6 isn't less than either number. All right, let's try, let's make the first number a fraction. Let's start off with like 1 half times, let's go 4. Well, half of 4, so half times 4, that's 2. Well, we know 2 is less than 4, but 2 isn't quite less than half. So we're getting really close here. Let's make the, the second one also a fraction. So let's do one half times one third. Well, if you remember multiplying fractions, you multiply straight across. So one over two times three is six. So think about it as if you have a pizza and you cut it up, a sixth of a, pizza, of a pizza is certainly smaller than a half of a pizza. A sixth of a, piece of a pizza is also smaller than a third of a pizza. So this is our um, example that we can use to show that, this, that we have this. It does say to describe, though, so you're not done here. 
what do these two numbers here, what, is, what are these numbers? How do we describe them? Don't just say fractions, okay? We need to kind of think about what do they fall in between? Well, the numbers fall in between 0 and 1. Both numbers are between 0 and 1. That's what we have. And then finally, you make two deposits to your bank account this month. The first deposit was $35.15, and the second deposit was $15.79. Your balance at the end of the month is $110.15, and, and you made no withdrawals. Write and evaluate an expression for your balance at the beginning of the month. Um... The key here is we want to write an expression. We're not really writing an equation, even though you can. We're just trying to write an expression. And because we have these numbers, we're going to write a numerical expression that we can evaluate at the end. So let's kind of start backwards. We know, we, we know that the end of the month, we have $110.15. So if I want to go back to the beginning, those deposits I have have to be taken away. We're going to subtract those deposits that were put into the bank. We have two of them, so we're just going to add those two together. 3515 plus 1579. So there's my numerical expression. If we just kind of quickly do some math here and calculating, we do our PEMDAS 3515 plus 1579, that's 50.94. If you have a calculator, you certainly can type it all in as you see it. But from here, we're going to subtract those two numbers. One hundred and ten fifteen minus fifty ninety four. At the beginning of the month, it was fifty nine dollars and twenty one cents. Again, this is our expression. Okay, and then this is our evaluation. Remember, an evaluation is the answer. Alright, there's your video on operations with real numbers.